Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a program to find the greatest common divisor that is GCD. Here you are going to accept two numbers, you are going to find the common divisor which divides both the numbers. So you are going to find the greatest number which divides both. So first you are going to see the question and then we will move on to the program. The greatest common divisor that is GCD of two integers is calculated by the continued division method when you are going to keep on uh, repeatedly divide the numbers till the uh, given criteria. Uh, divide the larger number by the smaller. So you have to first find which is you are going to accept two numbers you are going to find which is the larger number and then you are going to divide it by the smaller. So that is the first process you are going to do find out which is the larger number and then you are going to divide it by the smaller. The remainder then divides the previous divisor. So, it may, uh, when you see this line, you, it may be a little confusing. You are going to divide the larger number by the smaller and then store the remainder. Next time when you execute the iteration, you have to divide the previous smaller with the remainder. So, you, when you see the program, you will come to know what it is. The process repeats unless the remainder reaches zero. That means you have to set a criteria and you are going to check whether the variable uh, is reaching zero that is the remainder is reaching zero once it reaches zero you are going to stop the execution the last divisor results in gcd so you are going to keep on divide the dividend by the divisor when the remainder be, uh, reaches zero the last divisor is called the gcd so that will be displayed as a gcd now write a program to accept two numbers, find and display the, the GCD by using the technique di discussed above. The sample input is 45 and, 10 and 20. So in that, the greatest common divisor is 5. That is the uh, answer you are going to get when you execute the program. So you are going to see the program now. So in BlueJ, you created a program. Uh, you can see that the import java.util.scanner, that is the first line, which includes the uh, scanner class which is available in java java.util package now i got the uh, class with the class name gcd and then public star, uh, static void main and then you got a scanner object uh, the line which used to create the scanner object scanner is equal to new scanner system.in and then i got three variables okay so a will be the first one a first number b will be the second number and then the remainder that means the greater number will be larger number will be a smaller number will be b and the remainder will be stored in c and then i introduce two more variables n1 and n2 which is used to accept the number from the keyboard once it accepts the number it may be in any order that means uh, the first number may be the larger or second number may be the greater so it can be in any order you're going to check so okay so before confirming which is the greater or smaller number you cannot start the execution so you are going to just temporarily accept the number in n1 and n2 and then you are going to carry on with the remaining process. So here we got the variable n, n1 and n2 to store the first two numbers. That is the two numbers you are going to get it from the uh, keyboard. Here you can see the input statement. System at print line enter two numbers and then you can see input statement n1 equal to se dot next int, n2 equal to se dot next int. So which will accept both the numbers and store it temporarily in n1 and n2. Now you are going to check which is the greater number. So checking the greater number, you can see that you got an if statement which checks n1 is greater than n2. If the n1 value is greater than n2, that means the first number is the greater number than the second number. Now what you are going to do is you are going to store a equal to n1 and b equal to n2. That means you are going to store the first number into a, second number into b. That means a will be the greater. Anyway, a will be the greater and b will be the smaller number that is the uh, uh, algorithm we have designed but to find out uh, the first number or the second number is greater you are going to check this. Now suppose if n1 is smaller than the n2 then the uh, else part will be executed that is else clause will be executed. Now a equal to n2 and b equal to n1 that means you are going to store the second number which is the greater number which will be stored in a and the smaller number that is n1 will be stored in b. Now the uh, now you know that the a value is greater number and b value is the smaller number. You are going to start finding the greatest common uh, divisor. Now you are going to use a loop. Uh, you can see it is little different. While true, that means 
normally your loop will be executed uh, till the condition is true that means you are going to keep on executing so it, it is also called as an infinite loop because this condition is always true so this loop will be keep on executing without uh, without a stop that means you need to use a criteria inside the loop to check the, cri the criteria is been satisfied then you have to break the loop otherwise it keeps on executing so inside the loop what i what i'm done is i i use c equal to a percentage b that means i finding the remainder so uh, as per the algorithm the greater number is divided by the smaller number and the remainder is stored in c so c equal to a percentage b okay now the greater number is a you are going to divide it by the smaller number which is stored in B and then the remainder is stored in C that's the reason we use the modulus operator which will store the remainder into the variable third variable now you are going to check if the remainder is equal to 0 if C equal to equal to 0 then break that means that the algorithm says if the remainder you have to keep on repeating the loop until the remainder is 0 so here you are going to check whether c value is 0 if so then you are going to stop the uh, break terminate the iteration that is terminate the loop and come out of that so you are going to use the break statement if the c value is not equal to 0 then you are going to store a equal to b and b equal to c this is the reason uh, that is a line which we didn't understand you are going to store the larger number and replace it with the smaller number the second number first number is replaced by the second number and second number is replaced by the remainder so that next time when you execute the second number is divided by the remainder that's a line says okay so a equal to b and b equal to c so this will repeat okay until the condition that the remainder is equal to zero so once it becomes zero then it will come out of the loop and then it will uh, display the gcd value which is nothing but the the divisor that is the second number okay b is the gcd now you are going to compile this program now close this and you're going to execute the program now i'm going to enter the two number we'll enter the same number which we gave in the uh, which is given in the uh, question so 45 and 20 press enter you can see that okay so gcd is 5 so we'll uh, see the working 45 uh, you are going to divide it by 20 so the remainder what you are going to get is 5 because it will be divisible uh, uh, divisible two times and the remainder will be 5 okay and then uh, you are going to store this 20 into a and then you are going to store 5 into b so now second time it will be 20 divided by uh, 5 the remainder will be 0 okay so that means the remainder becomes 0 so the divisor okay that is the second number is 5 that is the gcd so this is how you are going to find the gcd so you are going to execute it again and check whether uh, it's working for some other number so i am going to give uh, say 12 and 18 okay now again so i gave the first number is smaller and second number is greater now what happens it will shuffle the value and it will store 18 as a greater number this a and then 12 will become b okay now it will uh, divide 18 by 12 and then you will get the remainder as uh, 6 and then you are going to divide uh, 12 by 6 you will get 0 now the second number is 6 so the gcd is 6 so this is how the gcd program works okay hope you understood this video we will meet you in the next video till then thank you